Now, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has congratulated voters who took part in the referendum held in what is known as the Sidama Zone in southern Ethiopia. More than two million people were eligible to vote on whether they want their own regional state within Ethiopia's federal system. If the referendum passes as expected, the new state, largely home to the Sidama ethnic group, who make up about 4% of the country's population, will control local taxes education, security and laws. The vote comes ahead of a national election next year. The results are expected later today. Analysts say the referendum will be closely watched by other ethnic groups hoping to get their own federal regional state. At least 17 people died in clashes in July between the Ethiopian security forces and Sadama activists after the government delayed the poll. Now, efforts are underway to clear a 20-hectare area of cluster munitions in southern region of South Sudan. A delegation, including officials from the United Nations Mine Action Service, the UN Peacekeeping Mission and the Government of Japan, all visited the Ame village to recognize the progress made towards making the country cluster munition free by 2023. This village was once home to a thriving agricultural community that produced staple crops, providing both physical and fiscal nourishment for the community. But now much of the farming land in Ame and the south of the country has been devastated by years of war, especially due to contamination from explosives known as cluster munitions, forcing the majority of farmers to flee in search of better opportunities. We're extremely grateful for their support in the clearance and their assistance to us in working with the National Mine Action Authority to build up the capacity of South, South Sudan. One of the focus here in South Sudan is a nation building. The people in here have to really focus on nation building. And I understand, you know, for the nation building, Japan believes, you know, the what the most important things, uh, the, one of the important things in South Sudan is particularly the agriculture, safe farming, agriculture, cleaning the ground is a kind of very essential. Uh, we hope to continue and support this process as we go further on so that South Sudan is completely free of mines and everybody can walk around safely and get on with their agriculture and everything else that they want to do in their lives.